Hi everyone, welcome to another Rapid Resizer Academy video. Today's topic, the drawing tools in our designer. This feature allows you to create full-size designs from scratch, customize existing designs, and combine designs. Step one, make sure you're logged into your Rapid Resizer account. The designer tool is located right here. To begin, you will see the workspace to the right and the tools to your left. For today's project, I'll be working on a simple flower design. Let's start drawing with the Curve and Arc tools. The Curve tool lets you draw freehand, or simply left-click and place the first point and then click along a path. To finish a curved line, simply double or right-click. The Arc tool creates perfect arcs, ideal for curved designs like the details on a petal. To adjust the curve we just made and smooth it out, you can click on the lines and points will appear. Feel free to move these around as you like. Once you've completed your adjustments, you can click outside the design or deselect it. You can use the Add or Delete Point tool to make changes to individual points on your design. This is handy for uneven spots like this on our petal, where deleting the point will smooth out the shape. You can also detach line if there are any points that have been snapped together mistakenly, like this spot here. To create small seeds in the center of our flower, we can use the circle to achieve this. You can also press C or copy to make more. Since the seeds are so small, I'm going to zoom in and adjust them. To zoom, you can use the zoom tools here, or press the plus or minus on your keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and add some more petals and seeds to complete the flower by using the principles we just learned. I duplicate a petal and then use the mirror and rotate tools located here to adjust the angle before moving it into place. Using the select and move tools to shift around points in the petals, I can merge the petals into a complete flower. I also add more seeds behind the petals with the arc tool we used earlier. The Add and Delete Point tool allows me to remove parts of the petals that are in behind others. This creates a layered effect, adding more depth to my image. I think the flower would look nicer on an angle, so I'll rotate it. Let's add a stem to our flower. To create straight lines to achieve this, we can use the Line and Select and Move tools. With these, you can draw straight lines and move them around the workspace. With any line selected, several tools will appear. The first is Delete if you want to get rid of the line, and the next is Copy. This will duplicate the line as we did with the seeds. Why don't we do this to create the other side of our stem? If you're ever unhappy with any change you make, feel free to undo or redo any change. Move around your drawing workspace with the Pan tool, or the arrow keys on your keyboard. I'm going to add a more curved stem to match the overall design. The flower is looking a little bit too big for me, so let's take a moment to resize it. You can left click to draw a rectangle around your design. This will highlight the full pattern, or you can click Select All and then drag the corners in or out to resize. If you want the design to be a specific size for your project, you can also use the Width or Height fields on the side here to resize the image. You can resize proportionately, where the portions of the image won't change, or you can uncheck this and resize freely. Now let's shift our focus to the tablet version. In addition to tapping the screen to click, you can also use pinch to zoom gestures. The tablet and mobile versions also support the use of a stylus. It's a good idea to save your project. Once saved, you can click here to print your design. 
Now you're ready to create jaw-dropping masterpieces.